I'm back today to talk about the Bcash FS drama unfolding as the Linux 6.17 merge window is slowly closing. There's been pull requests made by Kent Overstreet, the lead maintainer of the Bcash FS project, and we had not heard from Linus Torvalds quite yet. This has been a long-standing question for the last few months as things took a turn for the worse on June 26th, 2025. In a message from Linus Torvalds himself, we saw this ominous reply. And of course, all of this back and forth between Linus and Kent didn't start overnight as there's been many concerns from Linus. We're going to be getting into some of the backstory and how we got here, including the fate of the Bcash FS. Let's talk about what's unfolded. But first, let's talk about what Bcash FS is. Here on the Bcash FS website, the cow file system for Linux that won't eat your data. Bcache FS is a next generation Linux file system created by Kent Overstreet, originally an evolution of his work on Bcache, and it aimed to combine performance like XFS and EXT4 with advanced features like checksums, compressions, and snapshots, as it says here. It's a copy on write cow file system like ZFS. It has full data and metadata checksumming, able to be used across multiple devices with replication petabyte scalability, and much, much more. It spent years out of the tree before being merged into Linux kernel version 6.6. .6. That was somewhere in late 2023 as experimental. And there was initial hesitation and resistance from Linus Torvalds to actually merge it in as experimental. There was concerns over quality of code, the project being experimental with too few eyes on it, and Kent's reputation on the Linux kernel mailing list for sometimes just being combative. This has led to ongoing tensions during merge phases when Bcache finally landed, it was under the caveat that it was still experimental and under extreme scrutiny. We're going to get into some of this, but here is where the drama really unfolded. So back in June 26th, 2025, this reply really set things off. This is from Linus. I have pulled this, but also per that discussion, I think we'll be parting ways in the 6.17 merge window. You made it very clear that I can't even question any bug fixes and I should just pull anything and everything. Honestly, at that point, I don't really feel comfortable being involved at all. And the only thing we both seem to really fundamentally agree on is that the discussion was, we're done. Signed off Linus. Now we had no idea what this actually meant as Linus did not specify what we're done actually means and whether he was going to completely remove Bcash FS or market is broken, unsupported, maybe temporarily freeze it, continue as normal. We just didn't know. But Kent kept pushing along. As changes for the 6.17 unfolded in Bcash FS, this was submitted by Kent here. And it said, schedule notes for users. I've been digging through the bug tracker and polling users to see what bugs are still outstanding. And it's not much. So the experimental label is coming off in 6.18. As always, if you hit a bug, please report it. This is a merge request that Kent made with a massive prediction saying that the experimental label would be coming off of 6.18, signaling that Bcache FS would be production ready fairly soon. It's bold as Kent still did not know the fate of Bcache FS in the kernel. Linus did not reply to this merge request and said nothing about the experimental label coming off in 6.18 or approving that. Regardless, I do want to talk about some of the past that took place and how it all led here. But before we do, take a moment and subscribe below. You wouldn't want to miss another video like this. Also, smash that like button on the way back up. We're about to get deep into this. The Code of Conduct Committee actually restricted Kent from being able to develop in the 6.13 Linux kernel release cycle. All pull requests from Kent were declined for that cycle, and that effectively froze Bcache FS's kernel changes for that release period. The restriction was temporary around two and a half months, but of course would slow the momentum for Bcache FS. Really what happened was the back and forth that Kent, the creator of Bcache FS, basically had a heated exchange with another dev and argued pretty extensively, ended up saying, get your head examined and get the F out of here with this shit. And that was one of the most recent and powerful dramas that have happened between Bcache FS and the Linux kernel, at least on the Linux kernel mailing list. There's been other instances, but as we saw, Linus said that we're done. Well, what does that mean? A lot of people have been trying to figure out. Alex Galvin here even sent an email directly to Linus Torvalds, carbon copying Kent here, just to try figuring things out. As again, that merge window for 6.17, where Linus Torvalds said something would happen, the we're done clause and parting ways. Well, 
what actually does that mean? So Alex tries to figure out, hi, Linus, you've stated that you and Kent Overstreet will be parting ways in this kernel release. I understand your words to mean that you will not be accepting pull requests from him starting in this release cycle with the ban continuing indefinitely into the future. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Just looking for some clarification here, clearly. Could you clarify what you will be doing with the code that is currently in the mainline? If it is not removed, would you still merge bcashfs code that was sent to the mailing list by someone else? Would you accept the code even if it was written by Kent? So long as someone else made the pull request, thanks Alex. So basically, we're trying to pin down the exact implications of Linus's earlier statement about parting ways. Really, it's just to gain clarity and scope on the ban and what permanence does it have. It's also asking about what happens to the existing entry Bcash FS code. As Linus has not mentioned anything about this and even probing on whether or not workarounds are possible. Really just trying to understand a governance plan. Well, it didn't stop here with a reply from Linus. Instead, Kent chimed in. Let's read Kent's reply to all of this. Replying to Alex's email here, Kent says, well, Linus has been talking about removing Bcash from the kernel for a long time. He's made it quite clear that's what he wants to do. In the past, the reasons were more that it was experimental garbage. This is a direct quote. I would hope that the user reports have finally silenced that for good. It has stabilized incredibly quick for a modern file system. We're now down to a fewer open size bot bugs that either ext4 or butterfs and the main bug tracker is nearly emptied out. We're well on track for a very solid release and an experimental label off at 6.18. Again, that big prediction that we'd have a production ready file system here by 6.18. Now all the assertions are about how I don't work with other maintainers and there's a lot of other maintainers who want bcashfs deleted. Along with talk about the need for public apologies, therapy, things of that nature, this is just the top of the page and half rant about how Linus doesn't trust my judgment within the file system tree, bcashfs, during the recent private maintainer thread. But the assertions about all the other people I've been pissed off have been very light on details and don't seem to mesh very well. They seem like more of an attempt to keep long dead disputes alive than anything else. While it's still his kernel, if he wants to remove it, that's his choice. So it seems like Kent is trying to do a few things with this messaging here. He's, of course, defending bcashfs and pushing back that there have been personal accusations that are really driving this removal. First, we're saving a little project phase here, as we all know that bcashfs is not really a technical failure by any stretch of the imagination. It is a pretty great file system. And we're more pushing everything to a narrative of kind of being unreasonable by calling these accusations light on details, Kent seems to be suggesting that there are vague, unsubstantiated, and possibly exaggerated stories about why he should have been removed from the kernel. He implies that there might be some personal rather than technical problems going on, so it just seems like lack of specifics make it feel like old grudges or past drama are actually being dredged up, and that's why Bcash is being removed. An interesting theory nonetheless, but Kent really nailed it on the head with this last part here. Well, it's still his kernel, if he wants to remove it, that's his choice, dot, dot, dot. And it is Linus's choice. As the silence is deafening, we can only assume what's going to happen next. But before we assume, if you're ready to level up your Linux experience, you can get my checklist, cheat sheet, and mind map, all with new flashcards at SavvyNick.com. Download them today, and maybe we can read through the silence here as Linus did talk about the 6.17 RC1 release and it doesn't look good for bcashfs. So two weeks have passed, and depending on how you see it, RC1 is earlier than usual. It's only Sunday morning back home in the usual time zone, or later than usual because it's getting to be Sunday evening here in Finland where I'm cutting the release. I decided to basically split the difference on my usual early Sunday afternoon schedule. Anyways, due to travels, I wanted to do most of the heavy lifting the first week, and I can happily report that that part worked out well. I wouldn't want to do this most merge windows, but the bulk of the work was done before the travel. And that meant that the straggler pulls were manageable while traveling. Thanks to everybody who got their pulls in early, you know who you are. And the late stragglers then got a slightly more annoyed Linus as a result. Sorry about that. Anyway, the merge window did end up looking fairly healthy despite me having to go through a couple of bisections 
for trouble spots. One during the travel with a laptop, not optimal, but thankfully it was at least one of the reliable symptoms that bisect right to the culprit kind. The stats look pretty normal, both in the patch size and in the number of commits. That number being large enough that, as always, you only get to merge log below as a kind of view from 10,000 feet of the development process this time around. Please do get started testing and fixing. Signed, Linus. Now the interesting part of this message. We get to see all maintainers who have submitted things, and we do not see Kent on here. We see no code merged, no public comment from Linus, and no approval for merging code. Kent submitted pull requests with new BcacheFS features, but Linus chose not to merge them during the 6.17 merge window and clearly is leaving users in limbo with no comment. This silent freeze seems like a soft freeze. We haven't seen any removal quite yet, but it does signal to distros and users alike as a stability and governance red flag for BcacheFS. It does not look like he's going to continue merging in code for BcacheFS. Given the long running disputes between Kent and other maintainers, plus the prior code of conduct sanction in the 6.13 window, the no merge decision looks like an opening move towards making the removal case without public comment or blow up. If nothing changes in the next couple of weeks, this basically becomes Bcache in name only release present in the tree, but frozen indefinitely, which would seem like a setup for deletion. This is again reading between the lines here, but it's quite crazy that Kent was ready to move Bcache FS into a production ready environment for 6.18 and Linus has pretty much stopped all of that from being included in the kernel. As there was no reply even to Alex, who was just trying to figure out what are the bounds here for what Linus is trying to do, Bcache FS is now in a very precarious spot. The silence from Linus is again deafening. What could this mean? Maybe it's a soft quarantine before removing it entirely. Clearly it's a maintainer freeze as we're ignoring pull requests, which means Linus has effectively cut off development in the mainline kernel for Bcache FS. There may be some way of this surviving through other people who do pull requests for the file system, but we still see no comment while we clearly see action. Linus ignores pull requests and doesn't acknowledge the situation in the Linux kernel mailing list release announcement. Maybe it's a deliberate choice to avoid further public drama while still signaling his disapproval. He's probably said all he wants to say, doesn't want to offer any more public explanation, and is moving forwards without BcacheFS. So what do you think the odds are of BcacheFS surviving at this point? My guess here is slim to none, but I know Kent is going to continue the project forwards, even if it means trying to get support in the kernel again at some point. Maybe this all smooths over. I don't know what's going to happen. It's going to be interesting to see if Linus does actually reply. There are people questioning the whole thing, like Alex. And there are edge cases that probably need to be handled at this point. Regardless, if you want to make sure you're following along with this drama unfolding, make sure to subscribe below. You wouldn't want to miss another video. Also, smash that like button to get this out to more people. Catch me in a great community on Discord, and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching.